Welcome to today's presentation. Presented by Jennifer Lang Financial Services.com. Specializing in annuities, 401k rollovers, and safe no market risk retirement planning. Today's presentation is entitled Does by term invest a difference really work? So, what does by term invest a difference really mean? Well, it means saving the difference in cost between a whole life policy and a term policy and investing it in the stock market. The process is simple enough. A person buys a term life insurance policy and pays a monthly premium. They use the difference in the cost of a whole life policy and invest that in the stock market. Advisors often tell clients it's the best way to buy life insurance. Many advisors think term is more affordable. They also think that most people do not need life insurance coverage to last past retirement age. And by investing money in other places, such as the stock market, people will end up with a much higher return on their investment than they will with a whole life policy. The biggest fundamental flaw to this strategy is you may not invest the difference. One of the ideas is that you will actually invest the difference. Studies have shown that few people follow through on their intention to save and invest at least to the level at which the proponents of buy term and invest the difference would have you believe. Many people don't invest the rest because there's no forced savings element involved in the strategy. Purchasing a permanent policy, such as a whole life policy, can provide the discipline many people need to invest a set amount on a regular basis. The long-term trend of the stock market over the last 90 years has been upward. But, as they say, past performance is no predictor of future results. There is no guarantee you will see similar returns when investing. The stock market can swing widely over the short term, which can make it difficult to time withdrawals. If you need money when the stock market is down, you lock in your losses and forego any gains you might achieve when the market recovers. Don't forget, investing in the stock market can be risky. Some permanent life insurance products offer a guaranteed return and have cash value available to you, no matter how the market is performing. Moreover, plans change, and you might be uninsurable if you need insurance later. Term insurance is temporary, providing coverage for a specified period of time. 10, 20, or maybe 30 years. This helps keep the cost low, as your chances of dying at a younger age are relatively low. Once you reach the end of those 10, 20, or 30 years, the premiums will likely skyrocket. This is cause for concern because, if you're still planning for more kids, or you just bought a new home, or refinanced, you'll still need that life insurance. On top of that, it's possible that your health might have changed during that time in a way that makes you uninsurable. If you buy a permanent life insurance policy while you are young and healthy, you lock in your insurability. Term becomes very expensive past age 65, or if you have become ill. If you decide to continue coverage, you can, but that premium could be double what you currently pay. Or 40 times higher if you are less healthy. People only want it if they need it. So they then would be forced to pay higher premiums. You miss out on the tax benefits of life insurance. Investing the difference in a non-qualified account might require you to pay capital gains tax on any appreciation in value when you sell. Dividends are taxed as income in the year they are paid. Likewise, investing through a qualified 401k retirement plan only defers the taxes. And any withdrawals you make will be subject to regular income tax and a penalty if you are under age 59 one half. Life insurance, on the other hand, offers powerful tax advantages. As with term policies, the death benefits are income tax free. And it's possible to set up a policy so that the benefits are estate tax free as well. But permanent life insurance can also be a great source of tax-free income while you are alive. The cash value of a permanent policy can be accessed through withdrawal of premiums, which the IRS treats as just getting your money back so it's not taxable. Another approach is to take the money as a loan. As long as you keep the policy intact, the money is intaxable. With these tax advantages, life insurance can actually outperform investments without taking as many risks. A licensed financial professional can show you how. The tax advantages of life insurance versus the buy term and invest the rest strategy should be weighed as apples to oranges. The stock market is for investors who are willing to assume risk for reward. Life insurance products are for savers who prefer guaranteed growth than security. You can take advantage of the living benefits of life insurance with stocks. Term insurance only offers a death benefit nothing else. 
Permanent life insurance, on the other hand, offers living benefits that you can take advantage of during your lifetime. Your policy's cash value is available to you at any time. For any reason. No questions asked. Typically it can be accessed income tax-free. Plus there are no penalties on distributions prior to 59 one half or forced required minimum distributions when you turn age 71 half. This money can be used to pay for college, start a business, provide income in retirement, or pay for long-term medical care. Another little-known benefit is, if you become chronically ill, many permanent insurance policies allow you to access a portion of your death benefit for use while you're alive. Don't get me wrong. Term life insurance has its place. It's great for temporary coverage when you need a certain amount of death benefit for a short period of time. Or, because you're just starting out and can't afford as much permanent coverage as you need. It is good starter life insurance. Where you can lock in your insurability now to get the death benefit you need. And then, over time, convert to permanent insurance as your income rises. But be careful to fully contemplate the idea of buy term and invest the rest. Permanent life insurance offers unique benefits and it can form the foundation of a solid financial plan. 90% of disabilities are due to illnesses, not accidents. A cash value life insurance policy with accelerated benefit riders can provide a tax-free death benefit in the event of critical illness, such as cancer, heart attack, stroke, etc. Living benefits also help cover the costs for chronic illness. If you require assistance with daily living needs, such as bathing, eating, dressing, transferring, etc. The policy will cover these expenses. Unlike the stock market, your life policy can help cover the costs of terminal illness. Your policy may provide living benefits if death is expected within 12 to 24 months. Terms vary by state. But that cash value could be accessed to help you while you are still alive. A benefit you don't have to die in order to use. 64% of Americans aren't prepared for retirement. And sadly, 48% don't care. On average, 3.9% of Americans have $500,000 saved for retirement. That would give them $25,000 per year to live off of. However, the majority of those savings on average are in tax-deferred accounts, such as 401k retirement plans, and would be taxable at retirement. Right when retirees need the money. So when we look at the assumptions for buy term and best a difference, the strategy assumes you don't need life insurance after you retire, when in actuality you do. Life insurance is the biggest tax-free wealth transfer vehicle available. The strategy assumes that you don't want or need the access to living benefit riders, providing money for chronic or terminal illnesses. Now, who actually invests the difference between what he or she would pay for term life versus paying for permanent insurance? According to David Babel, a professor at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, people don't buy term insurance and invest a difference. They most likely rent the term, lapse it, and spend the difference. So what's a better solution? Index Universal Life addresses all the concerns of having life insurance, saving for retirement, protection against stock market volatility, and living benefits in case of disability. Indexed universal life insurance is becoming an increasingly popular choice for many people. It's attractive for those who need permanent life protection but also want to build policy cash value. For uses such as college funding, retirement income, starting a business, or emergencies. What's unique about IUL is how the cash value builds within the policy. IUL credits interest up to a cap. Based on the performance of an external market index such as the S&P 500 index, excluding dividends, while also offering the downside protection of a floor. IUL can be attractive to those who have a moderate tolerance for risk. Individuals who have a need for death benefit protection and a desire for cash value accumulation may want to learn more about indexed universal life. An IUL product that has a simple design and policyholder-friendly features, such as attractive caps multiple indexed account options, a floor that protects against loss due to index performance, and a loyalty bonus. Indexed Universal Life can suit a broad range of needs and goals. For information about indexed universal life insurance and to better understand how this type of policy fits into a well-rounded financial plan, please contact jenniferlangfinancialservices.com. There are a number of strategies you can use to manage your financial future. You need a knowledgeable financial professional in place.
And that's where Jennifer Lang Financial Services comes in. We work with over 20 of the best A-rated carriers. We can do the work for you to get the best rate and benefits for your individual needs and budget. Take advantage of our complimentary consultation today. We can help you put together a tax-deferred strategy to maximize social security, prepare for long-term care costs, and provide you with options for guaranteed lifetime income. Thank you for attending. Stay safe.